This bridge behind me was built over 200 years ago. So today I teamed up with my friend John and we're gonna look underneath What's this up, bridge guys? and see what kind of stuff people have thrown underneath here within the past 200 years. Yeah! So what are we doing today, bro? So right on this bridge behind us, a lot of people would have thrown stuff off. So we're just gonna walk underneath the bridge and see what kind of stuff they threw off. Dude, look, there's an otter up on this rock or something. An otter. <laughs> so I bought a little handheld metal detector off Amazon and we're gonna detect right in front of the bridge and see if anything got thrown off that we can detect like right in this little rock patch. So the way this thing works is it just vibrates whenever it gets near metal. So I just have to lift up the rocks and poke around underneath and see if I can find something. Oh, I got something. Well, at least I know it works. That's a freaking fishing weight, but let's go find a coin or a gun or something. Dude, look at this. I got a freaking murder spike. This is like one of those things that you drive into the heart of a vampire. Awesome. Here, should we test it out? On you? You know, something tells me in my heart of hearts, there's a more efficient way to do this. And I'm not going to do that. So while he's searching over there under the bridge, I'm going to use my makeshift underwater metal detector to go down and see what else I can find. So I got something really heavy down here and I'm trying to get it out from under the rocks. Here it comes. Holy cow. Dude, what dude. Is that? It's a massive like freaking piece that's gotta be, that, of That's like the back something. of a truck. Look at the hinges. That's yeah. like the back of a pickup truck. That's awesome, dude. dude. It's that's, all rusty and stuff. That's old, bro. Yeah, for sure. Look, it has like writing or something on it right here. I can't quite tell what it says, but shoot, man. Dude, let's go find some more. So I know creeks like this have a really hidden surprise under their rocks. And we're gonna give it to John as a little, you know, special gift for doing some incredible stuff today. I have the most ingenious idea I have ever come up with. Just watch. Oop. John, I have something for you. What? Come find out. Quickest you nipple piercing. The quickest nipple piercing, dude. The quickest keep nipple that. piercing you'll ever receive. Dude, it's sterile and everything. <laughs> No. <laughs> John, look what I found. You ready? Yes. Yeah. Ultimate old. frisbee. Yeah. Ultimate freaking frisbee. Oh no, that's an oil can yeah, lid. It's an oil can lid. You can see the, yeah, the that's hole the little on the top. Pouring hole. Up on the bank it goes. So just laying here in the water, I found this log. And if you look on the ends, it was actually cut down by a beaver to make his dam. His house was made from this log and that over there probably is part of his house that's been destroyed now. John, what? I got something big, you ready? What'd you get? <laughs> we can, we can build tires. a car. Yeah. yeah, dude, we can legit build a car. Here, go find the other three. We got the tailgate and now we've got yeah, the tire. Yeah, no, we li there's a car down here. Dude, just go find the other three and we're locked in. The metal detector's going off. And whatever it is, oh, it's another bullet casing. There's another so bullet. many. Of the, yeah, I got another bullet casing. Look at that. Another 22 show. There's thousands of them down here. Let's see if we can collect them all. What you doing? When I grow up, my daddy <laughs> says I'm going to be a fisherman. I think you might be right. <laughs> John, can you guess what I found? What? I'll give you 20 bucks. Another bullet casing? <laughs> no, another bullet casing. <laughs> Dude, they're literally everywhere. There's, there's so street. many. There's like, so you go many. down with the detector and it just constantly beeps. There's nothing but bullet shells down there. <laughs> I just got a giant metal spike. Probably from the bridge up there, but it's got like cogs at the ends. I don't know what this is. Am I maybe off a turbine or something? Oh, either way, we'll get out of the river. Look at that. That's another. That is another bullet casing. There are hundreds of them right here. I don't know what from, but people are definitely shooting shots at the bank of this creek. John, you ever been in a brick fight? No. You wanna do you want you wanna be in one? Not really. <laughs> you don't have a choice. Three, two, one. Oh my god. This time, yeah. No, 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 no. So I got an old spoon down here. I'm not quite sure what it looks like. Let's go take a look at it. Uh. <laughs> Dude, that's definitely an old decorative yeah, that's spoon. Old. That's silver plated though. You can see the plating peeling off right there. Dude, that spring's awesome. Nice. That's probably an old meth spoon or something. 1920s, maybe. Oh, dude, Look that's at the freaking decorative sick. design on it. That's so cool. That's a little piece of history right there. 
Let's try to find like a gun or something. Hopefully. <laughs> Sergey, don't say it. You're not gonna believe what I don't, got, don't, bro. Don't say You're it. You're not gonna believe it. Don't say it. It's, it's another, another bullet. bullet. It's another bullet dude, casing. How many dude. murders happened at this bridge? Dude, I don't know. This one's a larger caliber. Could have been from a different gun. Yeah, that's like but, a hunting round. Yeah, for sure. That's awesome. Alright, let's go hard shore. <laughs> Sergey. Well, I literally think I just found a bomb. No, you didn't. I literally do, dude. No, you didn't. Come here, check it out, no, dude. No, you didn't. I swear, dude, come here. Bomb. It's that's actually a, that's a, a bomb. freaking bomb. Holy cow, dude. dude. We gotta call the cops. Actually, dude, go get your phone. Dude, hold on. Go cut, through, cut, yeah, cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. Up, dude. dude, freaking. That's a freaking bomb. This is like the fourth one I have found in the past two years. Oh my gosh. You can see the pin right there and the handle. I think this is either a smoke grenade or this is like an actual grenade. I'm not even sure. So the, uh, the lever is gonna be down here. And I guess it comes in a can. There's a military base nearby here, isn't there? Yeah, it's not too far away. Yeah, we got a military base out here. I'm Jeez. guessing they must have lost one. I don't think that's too, too old. Wait. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. I am literally standing inches away from a live explosive. Mom, Dad, please don't be mad. But that is a live bomb right there. I found these before and it doesn't look like much, but that is an incendiary grenade and it's still in its original military packaging. They come in these little canisters, but inside there is a grenade. Trust me, that is a hand grenade and I'm standing right in front of it. John, hear me out. Ultimate game of hot potato. Just hear oh me out. <laughs> Ultimate game of hot potato. You go over there, I'll stay here, and we'll see who gets blown up first. You gotta pull the pin first. Oh yeah, I'll pull the pin, yep. and we'll just toss it back and forth and see the last man I'll standing. I'll toss it to you, and then I run away, and then you have nobody to throw it back to. <laughs> <laughs> oh dude, it's making a smell. Dude, so we're walking the bomb onto the bank and you can see where we stirred up the water. It started to like make a really weird smell and hiss. So we've dropped it in the water and we're actually about to call the bomb squad. We're gonna call the cops and we're just gonna put it on the bank, but nope, I'm not touching it. It's staying in the water and we're gonna wait till the cops get here and see what they have to say. We have to go find some reception because we tried calling the cops down there and there's no service. So we gotta try to find a place with service out here. So we made it to the road and we have reception right now. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna call the cops and we're gonna see what they say about it. It's about 500 yards that way. So hopefully we're in a safe enough distance away, but just to be safe, we're right by the road. We're as far away as possible. He's off there calling the cops and I'm standing next to a pair of soiled underpants on the side of the highway. Great day. Hi, is uh, this the a bomb squad? Is this how we can reach them? We were swimming down by the river a few days ago and we found an explosive device and the Durham County bomb squad came out and detonated it safely. Well, we were down in the river again, and we ended up finding another live explosive device. We believe it's an incendiary grenade. Um, and it's just like the last one we found. Yes, ma'am. M14 incendiary grenade. M14 incendiary grenade. We didn't check. This one's still closed. This, but... the, it's still sealed up. The last one we found, the lid was off of it, and the pin was still in it. The one that we found in the same location today was maybe less than 10 feet from the one that was found a couple of days ago. The one we found today is still completely sealed up. We just got off the phone with the police and we're now going to be waiting for the bomb squad. We've done this before and last time it took over four hours for them to arrive. So let's just hope it takes a little bit, a little bit less time this time because that thing looked like it was about to explode. It was letting off heat and like vapors and stuff. That was scary. We're out of that range and I want to be, I want to be even farther, but right on the road. There's not really much place to go from here. We've been waiting out for about an hour now and the bomb squad is finally pulling up. There's the head guy right there. He's the chief of the bomb squad. And so we're going to see what they say about our little explosive device. It's been 20 minutes since they pulled up and they're still chatting away. Four other officers have pulled up at this point and they still haven't spoken to us yet. What do you think they're talking about? Probably how freaking stupid we are, bro. Something like that. Yeah, these dumb kids always find explosives in the river. Man, if I had a nickel for every time they found explosives in the river, I'd have enough nickels to buy an explosive to put in the river. <laughs> there they are, the truck's about to pull up, but they finally started like getting stuff done. We, we've been asked to move out, so we're just gonna make our way up around the corner. There's the bomb truck, she's pulling up. 
it literally just rounded the corner, but that's gonna be the county bomb squad. So we just finished speaking to the bomb squad and unfortunately we can't get too close to them or record them. Technically we can, but they said they just didn't want to be recorded and I want to respect that. But they did say that we could set up a GoPro right by where they're going to put the explosives and detonate this bomb. So basically they're going to put C4 around the bomb. They're going to put a wire into the C4, feed it back to their van right behind me, and they're going to blow it up. So we're going to get to see that on footage, which I've never seen any other YouTuber do. So this is going to be a first for me at least. Was bigger holy crap dude that was awesome <laughs> Yo, <bro. laughs> they just set off the explosive so we're gonna go check out the phones and the gopros and see if we caught the explosion on camera <laughs> this, <Bro. laughs> is, this is so cool hi right, guys oh my gosh this is the coolest day i've ever had treasure hunting pretty much by far phones and the gopros are up on this bridge right here here make sure to step in the glass with your bare feet we're walking up and it smells like nothing but straight gunpowder, straight smoke. So there goes the bomb squad after like seven hours of being out here. They are fine. They had a really hard day of blowing stuff up and making a cool video for us. They're the most awesome guys in the world. I hope the best for them. This has been an amazing day. Bye guys. <laughs> so here it is. This is where they blew it up. This is the very next day and that crater is at least three feet deep. And this is where they blew up the freaking explosive that we found. They put it in here, strapped C4 to it, and they blew it up. That is freaking insane. Oh my gosh, that crater is literally, I'm falling in it. That is a massive crater. So it has been an incredibly long day. We were out there for about seven hours with the bomb squad blowing up this explosive we found. And at the end of the day, the bomb squad actually gifted us two little tokens for, I guess, sitting there and watching them explode a bomb and i don't know why they rewarded us they're the ones who risked their lives and blew up a bomb we kind of just sat just there and sat watched. There, we just sat there and watched the whole time they're the ones who put their life on the line so a huge shout out to all of them because they're a bunch of brave guys and i actually know they watch my videos and it should go without saying from both of us if you ever find an explosive device please don't handle it don't record it don't don't be, check, don't be stupid like don't us. be stupid we did that just for the content but don't ever touch an explosive device call somebody and they'll deal with it there's special people who deal with this stuff every day let them handle it so john what was your favorite part of today honestly just kind of vibing with the bomb squad because most of them were actually super chill so just kind of chilling and vibing with them and asking them questions and them being able to let us film that was such a vibe bro also bro i just wanted to say thank you for having me on the video today one more thing i found this at the river and i think you'll really really like it uh, I've been saving it for this moment, dude. Here you go. Oh, no. no we're not, doing, we're not doing this again.